Before we begin in today's video, I want to make a quick announcement. The Prime Minister's Research Fellowship portal is now open okay? and I want you to apply it because it's a very prestigious fellowship. Uh, from starting you get around 70,000 to 80,000 per month. Also, it's a matter of honor that you are getting this fellowship. So the portal has opened on 4th of January this year, 2023 how to apply admission process, where you have to contact, what you have to do, that all will be discussed in today's video. You watch today's video and you won't feel the need to go anywhere else. So what are we waiting for? Without further ado, let's begin. PMRF stands for Prime Minister's Research Fellowship. It was designed to facilitate research and give scholarships to students to innovate and bring out new ideas in the field of research. Okay. Let's move to the benefits Year 1, you get 70,000 rupees per month. Year 2, 70,000. Year 3, 75,000. Year 4, 80,000. Year 5, 80,000. Not only that, you get a research grant of rupees 2 lakhs per year. So, total of 10 lakhs for 5 years. If you are doing integrated PhD, then till 4th year you will get the grant. Or if you are doing PhD after an equivalent degree of BTEC, or something on par to be taken, then you will get the grant till 5 years. There will be tie up between industry and the research unit wherever you are working so that there is coordination. Can students from all the institutes apply for it? No. As of now, there are 38 institutes and universities which can apply for it where students, if they are studying in these universities, they can apply for it. So most of the universities are ISOR and IITs. So let me tell you, Banaras Hindu University, IISC Bangalore, ISR Barampur, ISR Bhopal, ISR Kolkata, ISR Mohali, ISR Pune, ISR Tiruvananthapuram, ISR Tirupati, IIT Bhilai, IIT BHU, IIT Bhuvaneshwar, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Dharwad, IIT Dhanbad, IIT Gandhinagar, IIT Goa, IIT Guwahati, IIT Hyderabad, IIT Indore, IIT Jodhpur, IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Madras, IIT Mandi, IIT Patna, IIT Roorki, IIT Rupar, IIT Jammu, IIT Palakkad, IIT Tirupati, Jamia Milia Islamia, Jawala Nehru University, National Institute of Technology, Tiruchirapalli, University of Delhi, University of Hyderabad and Aligarh Muslim University. How do you apply for it? There are two modes, direct and lateral entry. And most of the time students get confused between these two. When you say direct entry, you are applying for PMRF since the start of your admission. So say suppose now it is January, you have got selected, your program is starting from February and now you are applying. Does that mean that students cannot apply for this fellowship when they are into the program? No, it doesn't mean like that. So if you are a PhD student already enrolled, within 12 months, you have the opportunity to apply for PMRF. This cycle runs twice a year. So within 12 months, so two times you are eligible to apply. And that will be called as lateral entry. If you have got selected for PMRF from the start, then you will get your funding from the start. And that will be called as direct entry. If within 12 months you get selected and obviously if you are applying within 12 months then the, then by the time you actually get fellowship that would be slightly more than 12 months. When you get the fellowship during your PhD that is called as a lateral entry and let's review the criteria for both. Once you get selected for your PhD admission, as soon as that you will start with your PMRF procedure. So whatever criteria I am telling you now that should be completed within three years of your date of application. Okay. So preceding three years, not within three years. Say suppose you are giving application now. Okay, it is January 2023. Before you submit application, before that in three years you have to finish all these criteria. It's not that you have finished your master's 10 years back and now you are applying for PMRF. Okay. So either it should be you have completed or be pursuing final year of a five year integrated MTech or your to MSc or five-year undergraduate postgraduate dual degree programs so basically it means that you have to finish your masters either you have to be in the final year 
or you should have got it completed at least a cgpa of 8.0 on a scale of 1 to 10 if you are pursuing any integrated or dual degree program then in that case the cgpa of first four years will be considered if you have completed masters or anything in iisc iits nits icer or iiests so the first point was that or any centrally funded iit what if you belong to any other university can you not apply you can apply so if you have completed your final year or are pursuing msc or mtech or any kind of integrated program in science and technology from any other university or institute in india not covered in the first one you should have a minimum cgp of 8 or a minimum of 650 in the respective gate subject or a ugc csir jrf rank of 100 or less or if you have nbhm fellowship so either you have cgpa 8 if cgpa is not the system that you followed at least 650 in respective gates or a ugc jrf rank of 100 or less or if you have nbhm fellowship that is one criteria or if this criteria is not fitting you then third criteria is you have to qualify gate and either you have completed or pursued mtech or ms by research at one of the pmrf granting institutions with a minimum cgp of 8 on a 10 point scale and with minimum of four courses at the time of application okay. these three criteria were about your pre phd before phd now second criteria is you have to get selected in one of the pmrf granting institutions whatever 38 institutions we have already no mentioned that you have to clear that you have to clear the admission process and get selected okay you have to have an official letter third criteria is you need a strong recommendation from the institute authorities pmrf is a fellowship where it is not just you apply your institute also will combine hands with you and you two will together apply and whatever relevant information has to be there that has to be uploaded from the authorities and which are those authorities that we will discuss in some time also the students are advised to stick to one institution you should take admission where you want to avail the pmrf fellowship okay say suppose you take admission in institute one and somehow with whatever formalities you select your pmrf granting institute as some other institute then that is not allowed your pmrf institute where you have got the admission these two should be same fourth is on what basis will you get selected this will include your recommendation letter your grades your research exposure your publications if you have any usually at the start of phd people don't have but if you have any publications in masters or at graduation level then that would be a great add-on if you have answered any olympiad or any kinds of these exams national exams national or international exams then that would be a great add-on don't think that if you get selected for pmrf you will continue getting grant for five years without any progress in your work every 12 to 18 months there will be a review of your work progress and how things are going for application also you need to have a clear research proposal what all work you'll be doing you need to have an outline for that so all these conditions were for the direct entry now for lateral entry if you are doing your phd and within 12 months how are you going to proceed with the admission procedure let's begin you have to be pursuing PhD at PMRF Granting Institute, in one of the 38 institutes that I've mentioned before. Secondly, you have to be within 12 months. Okay, it is not that you are in second year and third year and then you are applying. So 12 months would be first year. So before your first year finishes, you need to apply for PMRF. If you are joining for PhD after a bachelor's degree, then you should have been before 24 months. Okay. So if you are doing after masters, then it would be 12 months. And if you have joined for PhD after bachelors, then you have the opportunity to apply for PMRF within 24 months of PhD. You need to complete four courses. Okay, if you don't know what is courses, then when you start PhD, there is something called as coursework. Okay. So you need to complete four courseworks and all of these four courses should be one semester long so it's it will be six months long and in each of that you have to get cgpa 8 or higher 
similar to direct entry mode you need to have a strong recommendation and obviously the parameters for judgment would be same you need to work in that particular institute only you are not allowed to transfer the pmrf fellowship to any other institute if you have got admission from lateral entry then you are not allowed to get admission for direct entry as well you are not allowed to transfer the fellowship and fifth one is the matrix for selection is publications the same as what was there in direct entry whatever your performance whether you have participated in international national kinds of exams and what is your uh, cgpa in each of that will matter if you have any publication then that would be a great add on now moving on to what all work you have to do at the start of each year you will be given a target what is that target will depend on the kind of facilities you have and your supervisor supervisor would be crucial in guiding you through that then every year there will be a review on a nation wide mode or it could be a panel of few members okay. from reputed institute who will interview you and your progress will be reviewed also you will be expected to do a teaching duty even we have that a teaching duty of um, certain hours in your respective in the nearest iits or institutes which would be there which institute what would be the duration that you will understand after getting selected for the fellowship pmrf fellowship is only for engineering science and technology just because you have got nominated for pra pmrf by your institute does not mean you will get accepted okay there is a four step process which we will discuss in some time nomination means your institute recommending you for pmrf now whether you get selected for pmrf or no that will depend on the final interview you can apply for direct entry once okay because obviously you who will be getting admission for phd once so you can apply during that time for lateral entry you can apply twice you have got selected for phd or if you are already doing phd within 12 months obviously now whom do you contact each pmrf granting institute has an institute coordinator and i am going to link it in the description and also the screen recording will be on screen right now so whichever institute you are in you have to contact that person from that institute so that would be your contact point from pmrf side and from your side so you and your supervisor would contact that person and that person will facilitate your nomination so the first stage for admission is nomination nomination meaning your institute sends your name or approves your name okay this person can apply for pmrf nominated scholars need to give your details whatever publication whatever your cgpa all the details and guidelines that we have discussed you need to submit that along with the proofs and the prime minister's research fellowship portal is now open i am repeating it because it's a very prestigious fellowship and i want you to apply third stage is evaluation now you have submitted your application everything but whether you get selected or no that would be decided by a national panel your interview would be conducted all the criteria your eligibility everything would be checked considering all these aspects the final step would be your selection okay a okay. rejection deselection so these were the four stages of your admission process where to send the details and where to upload documents and all so once after stage 1 once you are nominated by your institute then you will get a link for login and password into the pmrf portal once you get the login and id all the procedures will follow from there and once that you have submitted your email id all the further instructions will come directly in your mail whatever teaching duties you will do okay as mentioned earlier the certificate or the proof of that should be submitted at every review meeting it's been a long video i think i've been speaking for more than 30 minutes now i don't know how long this video would be it's a detailed video because i want you to apply for it and it looks like the admission procedure is long and very overwhelming but if you are in these institutes even your supervisor and whoever personnel are there they will encourage you say suppose you don't have one of the few criteria then don't hesitate from asking your institute coordinators i have already mentioned about all these things in the video so contact that person 
and you take initiatives from your side for this fellowship it's a really good opportunity for research scholars if you have any questions then let me know in the comments till the next time bye